and uh, of course the dialogue that we had, you know, was uh, between players, players only. But whatever dialogue that was, it, it came out to be positive. You know, uh, anything with communication, uh, good communication, bad communication, uh, emotional communication, um, any type of communication leads to answers. And uh, and we've been fortunate to uh, have a good PA. We've been fortunate to have a great MBA foundation that, you know, we were able to take care of our families and communication was good and it led to, uh, you know, some action. And that's the most important thing. Andrew, did you have a second question? I, I guess, Pat, I guess, would you care to address kind of what transpired um, or between yourself and Michelle Roberts? There's obviously, how was the topic? Oh, uh, no, just, you know, we had a, we had a very interesting, uh, Conversation. The PA is like a family. I'm pretty sure everyone here and all the cameras pointing to me, hey, everyone's a part of a family. Uh, you don't always agree with your family members, and that's okay. Uh, you communicate about it, and you you try to make it better. And whatever the dialogue was, or whatever you guys think it is, um, we made things better yesterday, meeting with the owners, and that's the most important. Thanks, Andrew. Om, um, go ahead. Hey, Pat, um, it, there were reports that you guys, the Clippers and the Lakers, were ready to, to in, in the initial polling, were ready to not continue with the season. And then yesterday, obviously, everybody agreed to play. What what have the last, like, 24, 48 hours been like as far as the emotions for you guys as a team? Were you guys ready to kind of continue and not play? Yeah, championship mindset. Here, ready to get, you know, after I'm done talking to you good people, and we head in practice and try to compete and try to get ready for the Dallas Mavericks. Thanks, Ohm. Uh, next up is Miriam. Go ahead, Miriam. Hey there, Pat. Good to see you, man. Um, oh, I, good to see you. Good to talk to you, too. You as well, man. Hey, so uh, the, the NBA and the PA put out a statement this morning kind of with detailing some of the social justice initiatives and, and the, you know, that, that they're going to make arenas polling places and things like that. Yeah. Have you seen Big that? What's your thoughts on that? No, I mean, that's just come from communication. It's hard to kind of get, you know, uh, so many NBA guys in one room together. Um, I think it was a funny analogy, like, man, you probably have some of the, you know, wealthiest African-Americans in one room uh, in the country together. And, uh, you know, when you get in one room and you get to talk, you know, just like, you know, you believe in certain things I might not believe in and vice versa, anyone here. And there's good dialogue, good conversations, with, which led to uh, action. And we were able to get that action. I think Doc was there, uh, kind of um, leading the forefront of that. And, and we're excited. We're excited to stay here. We're excited to be here. And we're excited to not only uh, uh, compete, but be a pioneer in, uh, in, today's, in today's change with, within the world. Uh, Brad Turner from the LA Times. Go ahead, Brad. Thanks, Chris. Pat, Pat how you doing today, man? Yeah, Brad, good to talk to you. The question is, when all of you predominantly African-American males have a conversation with predominantly wealthy billionaires that are white, I, I don't know. Are you guys? I won part. I won in that conversation, so I, I don't even know how that. <laughs> well, but I, but when you there, finish, I talk to on a daily basis, to Steve Ballmer. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I know what you're saying because I, I I talk to him periodically myself. But when you guys finally hear what the plan is, is there some satisfaction that they're hearing your voices and you hope they take that back to their constituencies and people that they have power with? Yeah, I think everybody's just trying to. You know, help. That's it. And uh, everyone is just trying to help the cause and, and trying to get a positive change out of this. I think that's the. Uh, I think that's the message. It's been a message. That's been the only message. Pat, what's good, Pat? What's up, baby? How you, Mook? Yeah, right. Good, baby. Good to see you, gang. Thank you, family. <laughs> all right, thank you. All. No problem. Good to talk to you too. You too. Thanks, BT. Uh, hey, Pat. We're gonna take a question from Mark Medina there in Orlando with you. Uh, I guess, yeah, to your point about Steve Ballmer, what have been your takeaways on, on his level? I mean, I mean, you, it goes without saying. I mean, you, you see it. Like, that's something we don't have to talk about. You see it and you feel it. I mean, that speaks that speaks for itself. Uh, next question, Pat, is going to come from Taylor Rooks. Go ahead, Taylor. So, is there optimism around change happening? Like, what is success going to look like for you after this? kind of situation right now? Uh, I mean, I don't understand the question. 
like what will success look like? What will have to happen from the conversations you guys have had as players? Oh, I mean, I think everything like that takes time. Uh, but you know, our platform is here, and just to use that platform to you know inspire, motivate, uh, give knowledge, uh, listen, you know, whatever the case may be. And uh, and you know, when you get out of here, just continue to keep that same attitude. Take it to your communities. Take it to your where you play at. And, you know, it's, it's all step by step. Just try to be better and better as well. Uh, next question, Pat, is coming from Farbad. Go ahead, Farbad. Hey, Pat, I hope you're doing well. Uh, one of the big things we saw was Doc Rivers was kind of the voice of everything that's been happening the last couple of days. You know, his speeches went viral. How, how proud were you to have him as a coach in that moment? Especially him being from Chicago, so I kind of <clears throat> understand his lingo more, more than kind of anybody here. But, you know, Doc, you know, he's, he's, he's helped us. You know, not only, you know, as a coach, what's up, Pat? What's up? he's helped us uh, kind of kind of steer things in the right direction that we need to steer to. And he has knowledge. Uh, he's been around. He, he has a lot of connections. He has a lot of access to, you know, to doors that, you know, me or anybody else might not have access to. He's able to put out in words, you know, that, you know, I'm me as an athlete that I might not be able to put out. He's able to put those words out and, 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 and delay a message. And, and not only to get through the African American community, that it gets through to everybody. So, I mean, to, to you know, fuck that. Not even a coach to even have a person like that. <laughs> to even have a person like that that's in your corner, that's riding for you, that shit, put the ball in your hands. You know, like to even have a person like that, it's a great deal of respect. And he's from, you know, he's from the crib too. So, you know, it's uh, it's it's respected and it's it's, it's all love there. You know. Great. Thank you, Pat. Have a good practice. Oh man, thought that was, that was it. That was it. The test. Uh, okay. <laughs> you guys, have a great day, baby.